So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to mount the Z axis motor holder. It's that unit there. You can see there it's recessed into the unit itself. So we need to mark off the position where we're going to cut the holes. That's what we're going to do next. Okay, so by this stage now you should have all four table legs attached with the holes drilled all the way through the centers and the wire thread through, ready to accept the electronics when we go on to that stage later on in the build. At this moment in time, the table has got no orientation. We can literally put it in any position we like. I am going to say that this is the back. This becomes important now because we are going to mount the Z axis holder. Uh, this is a print that I've done. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's one that hasn't come out too well, so I use this as a template anyway. But I need to mark on the, on the top here the hole that I'm going to be cutting, ready for that to actually fit into the slot. Now to do that, I'm going to use some masking tape. And that's going to aid me in making sure I get a nicer cut. But also, I'm going to be using a black pen and a black tabletop, so I need the markings to be able to show up clearly. So using a tape measure, we need to mark the centre mark first of all. Now, the measurement between the two legs is 446 millimetres. And we need to measure approximately halfway, which would be 220 223 millimetres at the halfway mark. So 223. And then I'm going to use a set square and I'm going to set the set square at 75 millimetres. So I need that for the measurement. So if I just set that on 75, draw my straight line, marking my centre but also using the set square to mark a parallel line to the edge, because that's gonna be one of my cut lines to be able to recess the Z motor holder into place. So now using a rule, the measurement of that is 64 millimeters. I'll mark, the in situ markings either side there, they've been marked at halfway which is 32 millimeters. That's not aid when I come to recess it into setting it and making sure that it lines up with the marks and everything is nice and square. So 64 millimeters, I need to now measure down from the edge, from that edge, and I can join that line up. And also, obviously, 64 millimeters square, so I need to then mark 32 millimeters either side of the bottom line. So, 32 on that, 32 on that. Using the set square again, draw my cut line, and draw my cut line. So now that I've double checked all the measurements uh, and the, the markings are where I'm going to cut the hole are, are all there, I'm going to start the cutting. <coughs> now what I will use is a, a drill just to cut, drill a hole in the corner and that will just help me in the cutting process. So just draw, draw four holes in the corners being careful not to go over the line. I want to try and get a nice tight fit of the Z motor housing. Okay, so that's then cut. With it only being hardboard, I should be able to cut this fairly easy with just a nice sharp blade. So using my rule against the line, I'm then going to put the blade into the hole that I cut and just do the gentle rocking action backwards and forwards just go along the line cutting through the hard board now you do need to use a little bit of pressure so it's not 
it's not as easy as just putting paper. It is hardboard. So that's the hole cut out. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to push the honeycomb to the sides just to create the space required for the Z motor housing to fit in. And I'm just going to trim around these edges now. I can use obviously a knife or a bit of sanding paper just to nicely square off all those edges. So that's all the edges nicely squared off now. I'm going to remove the masking tape and hold the Z motor, Z motor housing and see if it will fit in. If it won't fit in, I will just look at what needs trimming. So that I want a nice tight fit. So I don't want to remove too much. I know we grab our Z axis mounting motor housing and we clip that into position. So now we're going to drill a hole in the bottom of here ready for the wires to come through from the Z motor to go underneath to attach to the electronics board. So just to go there. And that's it with a hole all the way through to the underneath. Now we're going to put in the Z axis motor holder and just check that for fit. And obviously, we're going to look for the wire to pass through just underneath that point there. If you feel that the drill's just if you've cut the hole a little bit too far out of the way, like I have a little bit there, just Pull the motor housing back out and we'll just and then let that hole slightly just to give us just a little bit more room for the wires to be able to pass through that gap. 